Hello everyone and welcome to Educer Clinics. I am Dr. Gurjan Desai and today we are going to discuss a recent advance on liver cancer treatment and this is the LEAP trial, the LEAP 012 trial and it is basically on loco regional therapy in combination with systemic therapy for liver cancer. So if we go through the scope of this trial, basically it is dealing with intermediate stage BCLC, HCC. So we have already seen the BCLC staging. We have a video on it. So if you want to revise that, you can have a look at the video on HCC. We also have a discussion on the management options for HCC and an entire webinar on HCC. So you can have a look at that. When it comes to this specific trial, it basically deals with the concept that intermediate stage by itself is a heterogeneous group. And this is something that we are seeing since last one or two years. And what it means is that when BCLC tries to simplify the staging, it is an oversimplification sometimes. So for multinodular HCC, there are in fact a lot of subtypes that you can see in the intermediate stage BCLC. And this has been studied in an article recently. You can see that based on size and number of lesions, as well as the location, the response to taste has been categorized in multiple subgroups. So in this diagram on the right hand side, the green ones are the areas of intermediate stage HCC where taste is going to do a good response. And this is known as within up to seven criteria, so up to seven lesions and not more than six centimeter in size that is the taste good response criteria based on size and number remember that this is intermediate stage so there is no metastasis there is no nodal disease and the portal vein invasion is not there right coming to pink area lesion more than six centimeter or four to six nodules present. This is a subgroup where it is slightly outside the within the seven criteria and it may be taste refractory, but it's not 100% that this group will be taste refractory. There is a group where their lesions are seven or more and the size is also more than seven centimeter. And this is a group where almost always taste is going to be refractory. So this is bilobar multifocal tumors with many lesions and these patients are taste refractory, right? So this is something that has come in the intermediate stage HCC. So now coming to the LEAP 012 trial, this trial basically enrolls patients of intermediate stage HCC the eligibility criteria as mentioned in the trial are confirmed HCC not amenable to curative treatment. AFP, they have given two groups less than 400 and more than 400. ECOG performance status is 0 or 1. And tumor burden score based on the previous criteria, the divisions are less than or equal to 6 versus greater than 6 but less than or equal to 12 and then more than 12. The important points are there should not be any portal vein thrombosis or extra hepatic disease. In this trial, they are divided into two groups. One is taste alone, which has been the standard of care in this subgroup versus taste combined with lenvatinib and pembrolizumab. So targeted therapy as well as immunotherapy. So taste plus lenvatinib plus pembrolizumab versus taste. This is what the trial design was. The endpoints were progression-free survival as well as overall survival. And secondary endpoints were many. We always look at safety, so that is there. When we go to outcomes in overall survival, we can see that the taste plus pembrolizumab plus lenvatinib group had a better survival when compared to a taste alone group. And if we look at the PFS, that is progression-free survival, again, this group had marginally better survival, which is 14.6 months compared to 10 months in the taste alone group, right? So, LEAP012 study showed a clinically meaningful and statistically significant improvement in the PFS arm, okay? We saw that PFS was better for the combination therapy versus 
taste alone therapy however a favorable os trend was observed okay but it was not statistically significant as of now so there is definitely improvement in progression free survival and the uh, improvement in overall survival trend was there but it's an immature data currently you need more data on this direction as far as overall survival is concerned when we talk of safety profile the safety profile of the combination is manageable and no new safety concerns were identified so this study has concluded that this combination of taste with pembrolizumab and lenvatinib may be a new option for patients with intermediate stage hcc if we review similar data with other drugs we already know that there is a trial which has compared taste with lenvatinib versus taste with sorafenib right understand that this trial included patients with portal vein tumor thrombus so this trial was not intermediate stage hcc this was hcc not amenable to curative treatment the curative treatments are surgery ablation and transplant and diseases with portal vein tumor thrombus where they did taste was lenvatinib versus taste plus sorafenib and we saw that lenvatinib in combination with taste definitely gave better survivals and this trial actually formed the basis for leap 012 where taste plus lenvatinib was used and not taste plus sorafenib thank you